Wood chips have long been a gardener's favorite mulch. They look tidy, suppress weeds, and slowly decompose over time. But there's a hidden danger that few talk about, especially during the cold months. Fresh wood chips are high in carbon, and when applied directly to garden beds, they trigger microbial activity that draws nitrogen from the soil. Instead of feeding plants, your soil can end up temporarily nitrogen starved, leaving winter crops or early spring seedlings struggling. Understanding how wood chips interact with soil microbes is essential to avoid robbing your garden of nutrients. Uh, fresh wood chips tie up nitrogen as they decompose. When microbes encounter fresh wood chips, they immediately start breaking down the cellulose and lignin. This process requires nitrogen, which the microbes pull from surrounding soil. Uh, the result is a temporary nitrogen deficiency for your plants, even if your soil tests high for nutrients. For example, Applying a two-inch layer of fresh wood chips over a winter vegetable bed can cause young lettuce or spinach to develop pale leaves and stunted growth. A practical strategy is to either compost wood chips before applying them as mulch or mix them with nitrogen-rich materials in a ratio that balances the carbon to nitrogen demand. A good guideline is roughly three parts carbon-rich wood chips to one part green materials such as composted manure, kitchen scraps, or clover clippings. This ensures microbes have enough nitrogen within the mulch itself and do not pull it exclusively from the soil beneath. The timing of wood chip application matters. Applying wood chips in late fall or early winter without preparation can exacerbate nitrogen lockup because microbial activity slows dramatically in cold weather. The wood chips will still absorb whatever nitrogen is available and plants struggling to establish during winter or early spring are most vulnerable. One effective approach is to apply wood chips over composted beds instead of directly on bare soil. For instance, after harvesting a late season crop, Spread one to two inches of aged or partially composted wood chips over the soil, then top with a thin layer of finished compost. This approach provides a slow-release mulch that feeds microbes without robbing the bed of nitrogen essential for early spring growth. Mixing wood chips with nitrogen-rich green materials prevents depletion. If fresh wood chips are your only available option, they can still be used safely when mixed with nitrogen-rich materials to balance microbial needs. Kitchen scraps, grass clippings or legume residues work well in combination. A practical ratio is three parts wood chips to one part green material. Layer the materials like a lasagna. Start with a thin layer of soil or compost. Add the green material, then cover with wood chips. Over time, microbes break down the wood while nitrogen remains available for plants. This technique not only prevents nitrogen deficiency, but also encourages fungal-dominated decomposition, which improves soil structure, water retention, and long-term fertility. Observation, you know, really helps you spot nitrogen starvation early on. Plants are actually excellent indicators of your soil's nitrogen status when you see yellowing, older leaves, slowed growth, and, well, poor crop yields. These are classic signs of nitrogen drawdown from fresh wood chips. If these symptoms appear, top dressing with a small amount of composted manure, worm castings, or well-aged compost can restore those nitrogen levels. For example, Sprinkling about a half-inch layer of composted manure over affected beds and gently mixing it into the top inch of soil allows microbes to access nitrogen internally rather than stealing it from plant roots. Over successive seasons, observing plant response helps gardeners fine-tune mulch strategies and, you know, avoid nutrient robbing. Wood chips are more than just a nitrogen challenge. They also affect microbial balance. Beyond nitrogen drawdown, wood chips influence which microbes dominate your soil. Fresh chips encourage fungi to flourish, which is excellent for building long-term soil structure, but 
Well, bacterial-dominated processes may slow, temporarily reducing the immediate availability of other nutrients. By mixing wood chips with compost green residues or cover crops, you create a balanced environment where both fungi and bacteria thrive. For instance, planting a winter cover crop like clover beneath a wood chip mulch provides nitrogen directly to the soil, while feeding microbes at multiple levels, creating a thriving ecosystem even during those cold months. To summarize a practical application, start by composting wood chips or combining them with nitrogen-rich green materials in a 3 to 1 ratio. Apply in layers over soil that already contains some organic matter or finished compost and, you know, avoid spreading thick layers of fresh chips directly on young plants. Monitor your beds for early signs of nitrogen deficiency and supplement if necessary. Over time, you'll see that beds mulched with properly prepared wood chips not only maintain nutrient availability, but also retain moisture, support microbial networks, and encourage worm activity, turning a potential problem into, well, a long-term benefit. If you found this guide valuable, subscribe to Soil Doctor and share it with fellow gardeners. Understanding how wood chips interact with soil and microbes is crucial for keeping plants healthy, preventing winter nitrogen loss, and building living, fertile beds that sustain crops year after year.